Well, nice sunset out there this evening out across the Tri-Cities and state of Nebraska. Sunset was just a little bit over an hour ago for some of us. I'm seeing a 28 degrees already in Grand Island as the sun sets. Those temperatures fall off pretty quickly. In fact, we're going to see uh, some clear skies tonight. So a few clouds are starting to depart our area, but we will look at the chance for a little bit of fog tomorrow morning as well. Right now it's clear across most of the upper central plains here. We had that uh, that system to our south that we thought we might see some snow across southeastern Nebraska. It looks like we just grazed it maybe there in far southeastern part, maybe there in Richardson County, but most of the snow is off towards uh, Iowa, Illinois, and on into the Great Lakes states as well right now. But high pressure building in going to bring us that clearer, uh, clearer weather over the night tonight. But like I said, might be a chance for some patchy fog by tomorrow morning. So winds are going to be very calm. We need calm winds to allow that fog to form. It looks like we'll have that in place. And like I said, this temperatures are going to be falling pretty quickly. We're looking at teens for lows across the excuse me, across the area as well. So uh, that's potential for some freezing fog. We'll have to watch out for that. We had a freezing fog advisory out to our east just last night, but looking through the seven day forecast, we start off on the chilly side of things. Very sunny as we head through the weekend. That high pressure that's off towards our west right now builds into our area, keeps us very clear. Then by the middle of next week, we start to see those temperatures getting up into the 40s. So nice uh, cool weather out there for uh, this time of January. But Wednesday, a potential for some snow. Some of the models disagree on what it looks like at this point. We're still several days out. That's day five of the forecast. So we'll keep an eye on it over the next couple of days on what that uh, tracks out to be. But then afterwards, we see those temperatures getting a little bit more chilly into the mid 30s, which is about average for this time of year. Temperatures around the area right now, mostly 20s across eastern Nebraska, still some teen or starting to see some teens filter in as well, but just a little bit warmer across western Nebraska in the 30s. They saw those temperatures in the low 40s earlier this afternoon, keeping on some of that heat. But like I said, we're going to have very calm winds tonight, and because of that, we're going to see those temperatures drop down very quickly. Whenever we don't have winds, that can al allow our temperatures to uh, plummet temporarily, and then maybe the wind picks back up we see that temperature rise again, but most of the winds out of the northwest through most of the night tonight. As we head through future cast, not a whole lot of precipitation we're going to be seeing, but look at the cloud cover at least. We're going to see that uh, fog bank build in across our area, lasting through about 8, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. So uh, it will be a pretty foggy start to the day, foggy into it as well. 930 Saturday, we see some more fog across eastern Nebraska, and that's actually going to be a little more persistent as we head through our Sunday. We see here 930 AM. Sunday. It sticks around, it looks like, across parts of eastern Nebraska. We've been getting above freezing. We've been melting some of that snow, and that can sometimes put additional moisture into the atmosphere just above the ground. So that's how we can have these uh, foggy days, uh, day in and day out over the next couple of days. Lows tonight, like I said, into the teens. So that's going to run the risk of seeing some freezing fog. So bridges are going to be especially slick in the morning uh, as we might see some of that, uh, that uh, ice build up. Temperatures are going to be getting into the 30s across the area with light winds tomorrow. Overall, a generally nice day. Day, pretty close to average for this time of year. Highs in the mid 30s across the state. Sarah? Thank you very much.